Hello folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So what we are going to do today is who cannot stop thinking about you, who is crushing on you, who has you on their mind. So let's see, who is the person that is thinking about you? So uh, for some of you here, there is like a block or something uh, between you and this person, or you're not currently communicating to this person. There could be restricted access uh, between you and this person. For some of you, you messaged this person and they did not reply, um, and it's because the message did not get through. For others of you, this person tried to message you and it did not get through, okay? There was a block in place. Um, there was some sort of rejection. Um, between you and this person. Uh, so maybe this person uh, made some sort of move towards you and you rejected them already. <laughs> or perhaps uh, you feel reject rejected in some sort of way by this person because um, this person is somebody here who, well, they're, they're not being fully honest. This person's wearing uh, masks. Um, this person is currently experiencing um, a severe dissatisfaction um, in their own sort of uh, like life or situation or you know how they're sort of living in general um, I am also getting a strong indication straight away for some of you that uh, there is like a third party involved because the mistress card came out um, so for some of you you could be you know the third party in a situation and um, because I am looking at you know this person um, and then for others of you there is some third influencing factor um, you know around this situation so let me see take these ones see if i can get more information about some of this um let me see okay so um i am getting that uh, this person tried to message you but didn't get through like i said This person here is uh, presenting some sort of uh, illusion that they are strong, okay? So, uh, and also that they are a sort of like reliable person. I don't like that that's an illusion, but um, this person could be a little bit flaky. Okay, so I'm getting um, a thief in your surroundings. So again, we could be coming back to some sort of third party uh, situation here, someone uh, maybe kind of Trying to creep in maybe this person's trying to creep in if you're in a relationship um mm -hmm. or this person's trying to creep about in some sort of way some of you are dealing with uh, someone who is like in the military or the army um, or someone who's an official of some sort and uh, some of you are dealing with a younger person as well but i'm definitely getting um there's someone here this person there's something about this person sneaking around or creeping about or not being honest. I don't like it. it. It's coming out multiple times here that this person is presenting to be something that they're not. Hmm. So it really depends on the situation. So um, this could be someone here who is like a boss um, and they are you know, hiding their feelings for you uh, because of their position. Um, it could be like your doctor um, and you know the whole like... Uh, doctor patient thing um, it could be someone here who um, is in another relationship perhaps you are and uh, this could be why there's all of this like illusion and you know stuff like that going on but it does seem like there has been some sort of rejection here and a block um, between you and this person so let me see oh yeah I'll take some of these actually tell me more who is this person that is crushing on you that can't stop thinking about you who is this person bewitched okay so yeah this person is bewitched by you protection but again we're coming back to this person could be <sighs> it's kind of coming through as games um like they're intentionally doing you know what they're doing um if they're presenting some sort of illusion to you but they're also trying to protect something yeah this person um, has mutual feelings so um well that would assume that you have feelings for this person so uh, for some of you there is already something here uh, mutual feelings and this person could be feeling trapped or you could be feeling trapped see trapped uh, with offer underneath and walls up is underneath that is making me think that there has been some sort of uh, block between you and this person but this person's trying to figure out um you know how to navigate the situation 
think they're kind of it seems like you know judging by those cards over there that they are choosing to go down a path of I don't know masks so if this is a situation that's already happened between you and this person um, it looks like they are wearing masks and, and uh, pretending that they are okay um, when in fact it shows a serious uh, dissatisfaction right let's see what is this person's thoughts about you strength the Hierophant See, this could also be resistance due to like. Oh! Oh, sorry, one second. <laughs> Hello. So, um, I was actually watching, um, I don't know if any of you watched the YouTuber Radical on Hallowed Night. Um, I was watching him uh, before I, you know, started recording and um, I accidentally, when I opened my can of Coke, the, the spray went all over my laptop um, and I have wiped it, but it keeps like. Do you know whenever it gets wet it does its own thing and it just kind of like X's out of things and sends emails to people and you're like no um, so it's kind of doing that and it just hit play on that video and uh, so that was a uh, radical the unhallowed night playing making an appearance in my video so yes as I was saying and it's it's doing something else now as well um, this could be some sort of resistance due to whatever this hierophant is representing, uh, which could be something traditional. So uh, this could be from a traditional relationship to, um, like again, this person's like position. Uh, for some of you, this person, there would be like a, a line that they could not cross for whatever reason, like something like that. Two of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Swords. So this person, especially with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune flanking each other here, I do feel like this person feels like uh, you're a very special person, or um, you've kind of popped up in their life, or did pop in their up in their life at a very particular time. Like um, maybe this person was going through a hard time, or um, I don't know. There's something about this where uh, it just feels like you guys met for a reason at a particular time in this person's life but uh, this person here is trying to um i don't know they're, they're still like trying to maintain this like cool aloof um energy they are uh, thinking about um how to better the situation perhaps between you both but um ultimately i'm seeing this uh, up and down energy uh, even in terms of how they're thinking about this because we did get that crushed energy earlier and this person's like really focused on presenting themselves as being very like strong um, and I don't think that they feel this way on the inside. Nine of swords, there's a lot of anxiety. Ten of pentacles, now that looks like a, that could be like a marriage or a family situation. The moon, the high priestess and the page of cups. So, um, like, from a logical sort of standpoint, this person's confused and they don't know what to do, um, but they do feel pulled and drawn to you. There is, uh, like, some sort of strong connection here, like, it could be past life connection. Um, but this person here does have feelings for you, and uh, they're also thinking about giving you some sort of, like, small offer. Um, it could be a difficult situation uh, that this person's struggling to figure out because of a potential uh, whatever your block's representing. Some of you, there's a block on Facebook, on you know Messenger or something, and then for others, you, this block is like this person's job, or um, if culture's an issue, or um, family, or another situation, or some particular block, and for each of you, it's gonna be different. Um, right, let's see. Now it's saying that you guys have mutual feelings for each other. So let's have a look at this person's feelings. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Justice. Okay. So um, for those of you who like might have actually blocked this person or uh, you know set some sort of boundary with this person for for those um for that sort of uh, storyline um this person knows you set some sort of boundary with them or maybe blocked them or you know kept your distance from them or whatever um 
and it was the right thing to do. So this person feels like you made the correct decision if that is uh, what you did. Um, for others of you here, this person, um, you know, there's a desire to move away for, from some sort of conflict perhaps with you uh, with regards to, again, something that was said um, or even just crossing some sort of, you know, line. Uh, this person, if this is about crossing boundaries, um, then this person may be feeling like you um, might not sort of like accept anything than correct and proper sort of uh, conduct. Uh, but this person does feel uh, very very excited about uh, the potential of this connection there's a strong desire here um i always feel with these cards here that there's like this energy where you both really notice each other you both really see each other you've both sort of like elevated each other in um, each other's minds <laughs> um but there's definitely masks being worn here yeah look and i think maybe even both of you are i think that this person's wearing masks and i think that sometimes you're being defensive or, you know, aware of the fact that they're wear wearing masks, so then you sort of pull back. Let's see. Four of Swords. The Hermit. The Five of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. So, I have three aces. <laughs> so, uh, this person definitely does want uh, a new beginning with you, a passionate one. Um, one that's got an emotional element to it. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles could be, you know, starting over. Um, I do think there's some sort of like, there's either a history here where you've set a boundary with this person and, you know, this person's feeling very sad. There's a lot of regrets over something and they've had a lot of time to think perhaps about something as well. That's for those of you with a history. And in that case, this person's wanting um, a new beginning with you. There's three Aces, as I said. The only Ace that's missing is the Ace of Swords. So um, remember, we're going back to that like confused energy about like how to actually like navigate the situation. They want it though. They've had a lot of time to think about it or they've been pondering on this for some time. They really love the energy that you guys share. There's been some sort of disappointment. This could be this person not making a move um, if this person has yet to, uh, but it could also be that this person has let you down in some sort of way. Um, and they also completely understand some sort of choice or decision that you made um, or they understand you to be a person that would not accept any sort of like masks <laughs> if they're coming in so let's see what is this person likely to do we'll say over the next three months what is this person likely to do The Moon, the King of Cups, Justice, there's like dogs barking, sorry, the Hierophant, and the Star. Mm. In terms of like 3D sort of like actions and stuff, I'm not seeing too much right now. Um, I am seeing this person. Uh, continuing to wear some sort of mask or hiding their feelings. The, the moon is quite literally a card of, of like illusions as well. Um, and illusion was the card that I got earlier on uh, when we were looking at this person. So uh, this person is definitely wearing masks. They're not presenting um, a correct self. Um, you know, this person is also feeling like perhaps, again, it's something to do with this boundary. It's coming straight back, the same cards are coming out. Um, there's some sort of, I don't know, moral, thing something to do with morals perhaps but uh, i'm not really seeing this person doing anything if there's a block between you and this person like i'm not seeing anything um even though they want it if uh, this is it to do with like a boundary like this person's like a doctor and you're a patient or something like that okay then um again this person would be um, sort of like wearing this mask and uh, feeling like they need to follow some sort of like I don't know, code of conduct, that's what it looks like to me. Um, but there is still that desire. Five of Cups. Ten of Swords. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is what I said earlier. Eight of Cups under justice. This person feels like you made the correct decision if you walked away or set a boundary with this person. Um, but this person may also be feeling like the best thing to do is to walk away from this situation. Again, especially if there is some, some boundary that this person feels would be wrong to cross or you would six of pentacles and temperance so uh, star temperance and i 
get as strongly to do with some sort of code of conduct or something um, is what I'm getting. That could be anything. That could be a religious thing. Um, it could be something to do with work or career. Um, it could be a, another relationship, like a marriage or something that's involved. Um, but no, um, the cards aren't showing this person taking any sort of action the world when I shuffle it's at the bottom of the deck. So uh, I'm not really seeing too much happening. This person's thinking about you. Um, there's mutual feelings here, but uh, ultimately it looks like there's rejection. Um, so, and this person's just wearing masks and they don't seem to be taking the masks off and it's not because they're being like evil or anything, I'm not getting that. It's because they're being good. <laughs> There's something here about uh, not wanting to cross some sort of line. But they're not really happy about it, but you know, it is what it is. So that is what I'm seeing. I hope that that has helped. Thank you all very, very much and I hope you all have lovely days. Thank you. Bye-bye.